Hey guys, it's Dave here from Creative Path Films, and in today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through this guy here, the Omni Ultimate. I'm gonna be taking you through the menu navigation as well as how to set this bad boy up. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so if you're not familiar with the Omni Ultimate, we've done a review on this battery bank, and I'll put the link to that up here. This guy is a very powerful 145 watt hour battery that has an interchangeable battery. It has AC power, DC power, USB-C and USB-A. So it's got a lot going on under the hood. All right, so before we dive into the menu, let's have a look at the three buttons on the surface of the battery bank and I'll take you through what each one of them does. Now to start off with, you have your on off switch, which if you press and hold, powers on and off the battery. You then have two buttons on the right hand side. The top button enables and disables your AC power outlet and the bottom button allows you quick access to the DC output menu. The power button also acts as a selection button and the buttons on the right hand side act as the up and down buttons when navigating the menu. All right, we're not gonna mess around today. Let's dive straight into the menu. Okay, so to access the main menu, what you do is you double tap the power button when the screen is active. So now you can see we have a selection of menu items here. All right, so we'll start with the first menu item, which is the DC output. And as you can see here, there are four different presets that you can preload. All right, so let's look at a practical example. Let's say that you have a laptop that you wanna set your output for. So the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to grab your laptop's charger and you want to check the output voltage and output amperage of that charger. Okay, so here I've got a MacBook Pro charger. So as you can see, the output voltage of this charger is 20.3 volts at three amps. So we're gonna set up one of these presets to match that. Okay, so now that we're in the DC menu, I'm gonna choose the third preset because that one is the closest to my desired value. So in order to make a change to the value, what you do is you hover over the preset and then you want to press and hold the power button until the voltage value is highlighted. Then you use the up and down buttons to select your voltage. So we want to select 20.3 volts. These battery banks are very precise and you can change their values in increments of one decimal point. So now that we've set up our voltage, we press the power button once again and that will take us over to our amperage. And we're going to lower that down by pressing and holding to move quickly through those values. So now we've set it to 20.3 volts and three amps. All right, so now that we've set our two values, simply press the power button once more to save the preset. To turn on one of our four presets, simply navigate to the preset that you want and press the power button to select it. And as you can see, it will give you a warning saying, do you want to set the DC output to 20.3 volts and three amps? And it gives you a warning that if you have set your voltage and amperage incorrectly, it may damage your device. So you always want to double check your values before plugging it in. All right, we know that this is accurate, so we're gonna press yes. And now you can see the DC icon has turned on, showing that the DC output is enabled. Another way to know that the DC is enabled is that even if the screen goes to sleep, the DC button will light up and remain lit the entire time. If there's no device plugged into the DC output, then after a short while, the DC will automatically switch off. As you can see, the DC icon is no longer there and the button is no longer illuminated. Okay, so that's the DC output. Now let's have a look at the other menu items. So let's go into USB. And as you can see, you have two options there. You have default off and default on. And simply what that means is, do you automatically want the USB ports on the device to be on when the battery bank is booted up or do you want them to be automatically off? So we're going to change that value to default on. And now if you move out of the menu, you'll see that the USB icon is now illuminated, showing that the USB ports are active. All right, the next menu item is screen off. And this simply gives you three options. How often do you want the screen to automatically turn off? You've got never, one minute, or five minutes. I'm gonna leave mine on never. The next menu item is auto shutdown. If we select that, do we want the battery bank to automatically turn itself off if it's not in use after one minute, five minutes, or never? Do we want it to stay on in perpetuity? I'm once again gonna leave mine on never. 
The next item is the temperature value and you can select between degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit. And because I'm in Australia, I'll be leaving ours on degrees Celsius. Let's move down to the next page where we have button light and we have default off and default on. So do you want these lights on the buttons to be on or off? So as you can see by selecting off, there's no buttons illuminated. And by selecting on, if a button is engaged, the light turns on. So I'm gonna leave ours on default on. Next, we have the about information, which gives you the model, the capacity of the battery, the version of the battery, as well as the battery's serial number. Simply press the power button again to exit out of this menu item. Moving down again, we have exit. And this is how you exit out of the menu. All right, so now we've gone through the menu navigation, let's have a look at some of the status icons on the front OLED screen. Now, if you have USB default on, you'll see that the USB icon is enabled and each of the icons will pop up when you enable different types of outputs. So for example, if we turn on the AC output, you'll see that the AC icon appears. If we turn on one of the DC outputs, you'll see that the DC icon also appears. There are also a few other icons that will appear when certain devices are plugged into the battery bank. So let's say we want to charge something using USB-C. So I'm going to charge this other model of OmniCharge. So if we plug this into the USB-C port on the side of the OmniCharge, you'll see that the C icon has appeared, showing that it is now outputting over USB-C. And finally, when you plug in the battery to charge, either via the USB-C port or by the DC barrel, then the charging icon will appear. You'll also notice sometimes when the battery is under charge that the max icon will appear. This occurs when you use the AC charger included with the battery. And this simply means that the battery is charging at maximum power. Next, let's have a look at some of the values that this battery gives you. First, we have this icon just here, which is on the top left-hand corner. This value tells us the total input wattage. And as the battery is not currently under charge, you can see that that value is zero. Just below that, we have the total output wattage for the whole battery. And that is split across all of the outputs at once. As the battery slowly drains over time, even if it's not in use, this will always have a nominal value. Now let's move over to the right hand side. And over here we have the combined USB-C and DC barrel output voltage. Just below that we have the current temperature of the battery and up the top right hand corner of the screen we have the total battery remaining. Finally there are a few screen icons that I'm going to walk you through that I can't show you live. The first is solar charging. This is the icon that will appear if you're using a solar panel to charge your battery. Next are the warning icons, and I can't show you those ones either because I don't wanna put this battery at risk. But I will show you some graphics so that you know what they look like if they pop up. First, we have the low temperature protection warning icon. Next, we have the low power protection icon, and this pops up if you're using pass-through charging and the output voltage exceeds the amount of input voltage coming into the battery. Next, we have the overpower protection icon, which will occur if your battery is drawing too much power. Then we have the overheating protection icon if your battery is too hot. And finally, we have the over voltage protection icon. And this will appear if you plug in a power source to charge the battery that exceeds 32 volts, which is the maximum input voltage of the battery. All right guys, so there you have it. That is our video on the menu navigation and on-screen display of the OmniCharge Omni Ultimate. If you have any questions at all about the menu system or the capabilities of this battery, let me know down in the comments and we'll get back to you. And if you'd like to learn even more, you can check out our full review with a link down in the description. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something today, make sure to let me know by leaving it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you in the next one.